What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today we're going to be doing the full review of my Dirt Devil Power Stick Light Bagless Upright Vacuum. This is model number UD22030, if I remember correctly, and this particular machine only takes about 2 amps of power. It's a small 2-in-1 or 3-in-1 stick vac with an optional rotating brush and 2-speed motor to activate said brush. It has hard plastic wheels that don't do any favors as far as reducing scratches on bare floors, but you can shut the brush off and use it on bare floors if need be. This particular machine is primarily aimed towards small apartments with mostly bare floors, but potentially an area rug or two that are, is very low pile and doesn't hold a lot of debris, and you know basically something like a welcome mat, and in that case, this machine could suffice just fine. It wouldn't do very good as far as above floor cleaning or upholstery or anything like that. This is primarily for floors, but you can remove the base and use it as a dust buster and remove the handle to use it again either as a dust buster or if you want to have the handle off and in the power head to use it on stairs or if you want to have the handle on but not the power head to use it to try to use it on above floor cleaning, you can. So this machine is very loud, it has very poor filtration, but it does have a very cheap price. So there is a give and take there. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and do a pickup test on this machine and talk about how this machine works and whether or not it's worth a potential recommendation. Okay, so we've just done our pickup test on both carpets and bare floors with the brush on on carpets and the brush off on bare floors. Now this is a relatively thick pile carpet, so not exactly the ideal type of carpet this machine would be suited for, but it is noteworthy in case you want to use this for quick pickups during the week in between your main vacuum if you have a larger home. And in that sense, this did leave a good amount of potato flakes in the carpet. So, not very adequate. Now, some machines that I've tested have also left flakes in the carpet. But you can see this machine in particular has left a good amount of them. So, deep cleaning on this machine is not a strong suit. Now, on bare floors, you can see it's left a couple flakes as well. So, performance is not that great. It does leave a good amount to be desired. This machine is capable of being used as a compact upright. It does stand up on its own, but there's no locking mechanism, because again, this is primarily a stick vac, but it does stand up on its own, which is more that can be said about plenty of other stick vacs. So, it is very lightweight, as you'd expect, only weighing a couple pounds. And it does have a cord clip right here for when you're using an upright mode, if you want to store the cord out of the way during usage. So. You want to put the cord in this clip right here to keep the cord out of the way while you're vacuuming. You can do that. Now, of course, the build quality on this is not going to be good, but what do you expect? This machine is usually only around $40. That being said, this review is going to be a little bit quick as there isn't much to say about it. Now, as far as the brush roller, there is a small brush roll right here. Since this is a very thin brush roller, it does tangle with hair very easily, but it is easy enough to pull hair out of this brush roll, and I'll do a video on cleaning up this machine at a later date. So, we have a two-position switch right here. We have our cord, which comes out right here. We've got our button to remove the handle. We've got our lower cord hook. We've got our upper cord hook and our cord clip. We've got our handle right here, where we can hold it, both for storage and for using it in handheld mode. We've got our power head with our wheels, we've got our filter release button, our dust cup with filter, and on the back we have this button right here which can be used to remove the power head. So if we push this button right here, just like that, it's a little bit hard to do with one hand, but we can pop that off, and if we want to use it like this, or if you want to press this button right here, we can pop off the handle. Of course, you'd want to undo the cord clip, 
and pull this out. Now you've got a small little dustbuster style machine for if you want to use it for any sort of dustbuster related activities in cord fashion. So as you can see, the results of using this as a dust buster leave quite a lot to be desired. Even while sucking up very small lightweight particles, the machine was blowing particles all over the place and failing to actually pick up a lot of the material. Now sure, it got most of it in the first pass, but for something as simple as cleaning up crumbs off a coffee table, it should have done better. So. This machine is not very good in any sense of the word, so that's not good. Now, the good news is that once you do pick up anything you want to pick up, you can simply press this button right here and access the filter and the dustbin. So it pops out just like this, and if you want to empty it, you can simply remove this filter just like that and you can dump the contents into your trash bin. Very simple. Now, sometimes particles will get stuck down here, and sometimes particles will get dropped out of the machine when turned off, as this small little black flap can move out of the way and drop material out of the intake. But that is generally typical with a lot of these styles of machines. This filter, Dirt Devil claims, is washable, but it's really not. I'd recommend vacuuming this off with another vacuum, and if this is your only machine, you're just gonna have to pull the dirt off with your fingers. As you can see, a lot of dirt just sticks to the filter and completely cuts off the suction of the machine. The motor does not have any sort of filtration, so the only form of filtration is this filter. But again, it's a cheap machine, you expect that. But because of the lack of filter and the lack of sound dampening, not only is the filtration bad on this machine, but it's very loud as well. Even louder than competitors like the Bissell 3-in-1 Turbo or the Eureka Blaze. So, this particular machine is not one that earns my recommendation. In fact, I've held onto this machine for so long and not bothered to fix it because of its lackluster performance, so I don't recommend this machine. If you're wanting a small stick vac in this form factor with a removable turbo brush, I would probably recommend the Bissell 3-in-1 Turbo, but I'm not going to say that for certain yet because I haven't tested that machine. But this one in particular I have, and it does not earn my recommendation. Personally, for the $44 that you can get this machine for, you're better off just buying a $20 Bissell 3-in-1 stick vac because this brush roll is not going to be making a lot of difference in terms of agitation. And that machine, that Bissell that I mentioned that I have already reviewed, the 3-in-1, is going to perform better in terms of pickup on bare floors, which would be the primary use case. And if you need something to vacuum your rugs, you probably can just get a compact vacuum with a good example being the Dirt Devil Endura Light. So, and that machine in particular I will also review very soon as well. So, that is pretty much that. So this, this machine is easy to use, it is lightweight, so it would be good for someone who has hard times getting around or if they need a machine that uses very little power, power because they're perhaps in an apartment where the breaker does not have very high tolerance. This could certainly be a good option, but again, I feel like the Bissell 3-in-1 that I mentioned earlier, even though that one doesn't have a rotating brush, I feel like that would be a better option overall, because it just works better in every way. And it's more versatile too, and some of those models come with a crevice tool, which makes it more usable. So the cord on this is very short, and but again, then again, the same thing would be with that Bissell as well. 
So any vacuum in this price range is going to have a very short cord, anywhere from 15 to 20 feet. So not good enough to do any sort of house, but it's not designed for that. And of course, an extension cord does fix that problem. So that is pretty much that. That is a cat. And this was my review of the Dirt Devil Power Stick Lite. This was Intelitex Studios. If you decide that you do want this machine, I will link it in the description, as well as a replacement filter. And that is that. This was Intelitex Studios signing out. I'll see you all in the next video, and I hope you all have a good one. Peace.